today we're working uh, with our barbed wire machine. We're going to set it up. There's no no barbed wire on it yet, and these are all fresh rolls. So what we got to do is make sure they're laying down properly, so that uh, it untwists in a certain way, so that it goes on the machine. And we'll show you that as I put it on. But this is sitting down right. We're going to pick it up and set it on the first one here. Ready? Okay, let's first one. It goes. Now I want to show what I did here. Okay, now that's sitting in there. It's sitting right on. You got a little web work here up on top. You can see it. There's some web work, and on the bottom of this roller here, you can see where we have the bolts. Those bolts are going to hold that web work, and it works with each other with the brake that's underneath on the bottom. So that's why we have to have web work with our cores for the barbed wire. If there's no cores, that has web work, it's just gonna friend, freely spin there. Okay. So now we're gonna put the cap on, just stick her on, wheel her down, spin it on. And real quickly while I spin that on, the barbed wire here will unroll this direction going through our rollers, which we'll hook up in a little bit, but I'm gonna first of all get my other rollers on, or my other rolls of barbed wire on. Okay, now that we put these on, you can also see right below them, we got this tray. This tray is actually designed so you can put three more rolls on if you got a longer job and you have it with you. You don't have to lay them out on the job site. You can take enough to do a total of 2,000 foot with you. You know, 2,600 well, 2, and some feet. Almost 2,700 feet. Um, but you got room to put you know, some more rolls down here so you can do that. So we're gonna finish putting this together and then we'll start running the wire out. Loading it. Weaving it through. Now, we're probably gonna to wanna to do the top one first. Okay. Alright, we're gonna run this wire through the machine here, weave it through. We're gonna start with the inside rollers and work our way to the outside. So this is our first one, we're gonna pull it through. Just have the guy help you turn it so because the brakes are on. Tight. It's tight. And you just feed it through. This is the first roll you got to set up this way, and then you can pull it right up. Pull. Okay. Okay. Hold it. Go behind that one, and then this one here is going to go over the top, and I need a little bit more wire. And we'll just get ready to go on the next job. And we're just going to tighten up the barbed wire to keep it out of the way. Keep it nice and straight. And we'll start the next one. Loose. Hold it. Make sure you use some good gloves when you work with this barbed wire. It's pretty pointy. And it can cut yourself pretty good. So you want to make sure you're wearing some good leather gloves. Okay, snug it up. Um, Okay, now we got the last one to do. So we gonna unhook it here. Get right pull behind it. Yeah, there you go. Okay. I'm gonna get it. Let me get it through. Okay. three times and that's the first one
as you can tell, it's pretty quick. We're running alongside as a walking speed, and uh, the guy putting in the barb arms, putting bar a wire in the barb arms, is just struggling to keep up. So as fast as he can go, we can get this all three strands of barb wire up at the same time. You know, it just comes time that at the end where you got to stretch it in. You know, fine tune it. <laughs> 